All right, so the main reason why I'm on Instagram all the time is Instagram, uh, actually, you know, as a visual tool, it was like the closest thing I could get to like a Google search for visual thumbnailing. Whenever you're designing something, they make you go through this thumbnail process where you're basically trying to figure out all the potential solutions. You're not trying to make any decisions. You're just like, what if I did this? What if I did that? The whole idea is you don't want to go all the way up from concept to execution and creating something and then going, man, I wish I would have tried this. The whole idea of thumbnailing is to kind of like investigate that without investing all this energy into something that you ultimately would have didn't come out the way you wanted it. Um, so I love I love Instagram for that. Pinterest even better. You know, you make these little walls and you follow people who put similar things up. You know, and it's like just a great visual reference. And so these were some of my favorites. And I will try to um, go over these kind of like quick. You know, I will. Uh, matter of fact, I'll get rid of this so we can just focus basically on just the shoe. So here's the shoe, right? So this is I took just would take screenshots. Obviously, a classic shoe, dope. Again, you get the whole like the shoe. This reminds me again of like a Mac shoe. Some of the decisions behind some of the like look at how the footprint is. It's really big and basic. It's like a nothing too exotic on the shoe uh, as far as the the shape of the sole. But, but it's nice base planted at. I'm gonna try and go through these faster than this because I'll be here forever. Fucking like six six pictures. Come on, man. So you know, the colorway is dope. Design of the shoe, classic shoe. Um, you know, here I was looking at colorways. You know, pay attention to that kind of stuff. Uh, same thing here, man. These are cool, right? All uh, black, gray. These with jeans. These aren't. These don't get dirty. Then you get this white wall effect, kind of like white tires. Um, these are popular right now. Everybody's loving these running type shoes. Uh, Adidas big, killing on it. You know, Nike's in on the game too. Uh, some would argue Nike was ahead, and Nike and Adidas just kind of started picking up the 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 kind of feel. Uh, they're they're cool, man. But they these don't be Air Maxes to me. You know, what I mean, to me, this is just a different version of the Air Max at this point in my head, which I have no problem with. Love it. Um, same thing here. You know, this has almost everything I like. You know, it's got the strap on it. It's got the a design that suggests like a mech. You know, this is like something a mech robot would look like it have for a foot. Um, these I just got because again the study of the colorway. I thought these were interesting. I would never necessarily rock something like this. But I, you know, again, thumbnailing. That's the whole reason why you thumbnail. You, you're like, man, I'm gonna let you look. You take away things like let me make sure my soles don't come out this thick. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, these were dope. Love the colorway. Man, again, looks like some of mech. This looks like a. I keep saying mech. That's a, basically the same thing to me as a dope car, a fast car like a Ferrari or Corvette. Those look like basically mechs to me. You know, they just don't look humanoid. Um, straps, cool looking sole and stuff. Not a big fan of this particular brand of LeBron shoe because again, it looks to, it, to me it looks like a sock, and I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Um, colorway is playing on here, but again, the shape of the shoe I think this looks like a car. You know what I mean, it looks like a Ferrari or something. Enzo. This was pretty neat. You know, you got the dunks. Never owned a pair of dunks, but, you know, you got the jean material. I thought that was cool. Now, here you go. This is a custom paint job. And uh, it looks like this person either might be airbrushing or something. I thought this was pretty cool. You know, pretty cool take on a classic shoe. Colorway here. You know, the uh, what I pay attention to here is things like um, the camel pattern. Now, I noticed that the swatches are kind of big. Um, I don't think I would rock camo that had a pattern that big. Um, but they're still dope, though. It's just not me. So, uh, again, thumbnail and things I want to never do. These are like orthopedic shoes. Look like some somebody I old wear. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just that's not for me. Yeah, these look loose. You know, they're, these basically like glorified sandals. You know, nah. Uh, these are interesting. You know, this is like some a woman would wear. They remind me of like high high heels. So it's like, all right, be careful not to have too big of a crazy arch and thick soles. But I like the colorway. And then again, this is a sock. So I don't know. I don't think I've ever been a fan of the sleek sock foot look. And uh, you know, these do like some super superhero would wear or something. But I don't know. It's just not something I want to rock. Um, I don't know. I thought this was weird having this high strand thing. So I was like, man, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, these were interesting too, dude. You know, you got the straps. You got the the tall boot like you know the only kind of thing that was weird to me was this bottom they had a, a round area here they kind of remind me of hovercrafts that could be a good or bad thing these are tight love them the detail and everything just sick love them uh these are pretty cool man like a stan smith they remind me of stan smith adidas uh pretty neat uh, here you see a process of making see this is kind of like what you i want to say that what they call the foot part that that you design around is called the let or the laid, I think it's the laid, L-A-I-D. Um, but here you see like a shoe, 
uh, being designed around the foot. And I thought that was, this is pretty key, pretty, pretty cool. Um, those of you who know me, know I'm in the safari, you know, Sarah, Sararis, I said safari, Sararis, some samurai, is what I'm trying to say, and ninjas. Uh, I thought these was dope. You know, I wouldn't wear them, but again, because they're like sandals, but I thought that it was cool, you know, on initial view. Uh, you know, thumbnailing. So I was just like, what is this about? I don't think I'd ever wear that, but pretty cool looking. Uh, dope. Sock with a sole. You know, want to avoid that. Sock with a sole. You know, you got your camel colorway and everything, but I don't think there's anything I would rock. But just, again, taking notes, So You know, just like, okay, do I want to stay away from three straps? Probably. I don't like them here. You know, classic colorway. With, you know, concepts. But interesting. Not anything I would rock. I don't know what's going on with the shoe system here and why it's lacing like that. But um, this is interesting. You know, I'm like... You got the, the toe effect. These remind me kind of like the Iversons. Remember when Iverson came out, he had a pat on the toe. And that's what this kind of reminds me of. And then again, I like the sole. The, when you run, you start paying attention to things like how the sole feels, the tread and everything look cool. The other neat, you know, look, I'm a sucker for anything camo, but at the same time, you know, I have my limits. So, um, these, the tops are playing with the sole. Dang, talk about some red bottoms. Dope. Again, the Allen Iverson toe. Hello, Tohi, you got the New Balance. Uh, I remember in school, we had a cat who was rocking New Balance. No one else was. He was way ahead of his time. You know, we thought New Balance was, like, for old people or something like that. But that dude was killing. He had some of the old cakes. These are, like, the black and tans. Come on, man. Sick. Um, this was uh, Lace Lab. They had just really cool shoelaces and stuff, so I was following them. There you go. Got some uh, Air, Air Force Ones with the camo pattern. What I was paying attention to was how they did their camo pattern and the shapes and sizes and stuff like that. I thought it was cool. Just again, looking at colorway. Nothing out of rock, but you know, if you're, you know, I was a Buffalo Bills fan. Red, white, and blue colors, maybe, but I just don't see me in those, but I like them. So we already did those. Pretty neat, you know. Love the camel color. I don't know about the white toes and the white sole, but I, I mean, I guess it works. This was pretty neat. Trying the camo from Jordan's. I like that. The, oh man, classic, right? These came out. Love the gradient effect. Goes downwards to the light color. Pretty dope. And then you got the air bubbles front and back. Uh, you know, camo. I don't know. This was almost like. What I was trying to say with the other shoes, like, you know, go camo and make everything black. And here it does that. still don't quite work for me. But it's, I think it's just because the bright blue. Man, I mean, were these an illustration? I can't remember. But, oh, look at that. These are dope. So good. What I see here, what, one of the things I do is I see what you do is you squint your eyes. And you kind of see, you know, this then blends into the background. You squint your eyes. But you get this idea of where, you know, there's a midsection boot part. Again, very mechish to me, these. Love them. Uh, space pattern going around real big. I thought it was pretty creative. Um, Air Max, you know, obviously my favorite shoe. This was a version of the Air Max, though, that I never really rocked, but I appreciate them. Uh, the foam posit. Love the foam posit. Don't like the way they make my foot feel, but I love them. Ah, here you go. So it's really dope colorway. This is this is like what thumbnailing is about. If I was all about trying to recreate the Jordan 13s, but I was wondering about color schemes, this is a good example. You know, this is just straight up black and red. What did they make black and red? You know, I think they worked. I like them. They're kind of loud, but, you know, ain't no thing. Uh, man, wool gray. Loving gray, especially like a wool. Man, psh, dope. There you go, 13s, dope colorway. Classic colorway. Second only to the breads. There you go, Tribe Called Quest colors. Got you red, black, and green. Sick. I don't know about this, how this looked, but this came out, though. Oh, conceptual foam pod. These are sick. You know, fire the pilot foams. Nice. Eh, these are interesting. I was in the low top Jordans for some reason, not feeling those. And then I, the colorway was pretty interesting, but these were pretty interesting. Oreo. They remind me of Oreo cookies. I don't think I'd ever rock them, but I thought this was cool. Ah, oh, I love these. I wish they were real. It's illustration. Sick. Got this fall camo effect. You know, like fall leaves. So cool. Got your Tribe Called Quest colors. Loved it. Love these. Same thing. Tribe Called Quest colors. Got your red, blue. I mean red, blue. Red, black, green. Use some gold in there. Pretty sick. Man, loving these. Um, you got your white bottom with the clears, but that's, you might as well just call those white. And then you got the, this olive green. So good. And I thought, you know, I didn't think these would come out, but I guess these actually came out. And um, I don't know. They're interesting. You know, I get worried about, you know, 
this type of material holding up. Um, these two loud for me, we like the color scheme. You know, you got the matching Charlotte, Charlotte Hornets with that teal and that yellow. Though the company I work for, that's kind of like what our company logo colors are right now. Yeah, of course, got the Adidas. We're dealing with that white toe effect again. Like the Iversons, loving these. Now, I love camo everything, but I don't know. These were kind of throwing me off a lot of things because it was paired up with that reddish pink. It's supposed to be kind of like an infrared, I guess, but it's more pink than a salmon than anything else. Uh, more examples of camo. I was trying to pay attention to camo patterns. These were kind of busy, but, you know, I see, you know, what they were kind of trying to maybe affect, try to do, but, it, again, that's why I keep thumbnail. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do stuff like this. It just seems like a lot. Like an attempt to be too futuristic. Uh, man, the 23s all leather red like that. Come on now. Give them to me, man. The, you know, you would think I like these because they kind of, they're like the the 13s, but futuristic. Uh, here I am talking all this noise about Mac shoes and cars flying. Here's a shoe that literally is like mimicking a, a Ferrari. You know, it's almost like a Ferrari and everything. But I just couldn't get into these. You know, uh, these though, sick. Just love the shape, everything about it. I thought these were pretty cool. Martin McFly, purple. Uh, that looks like a duplication. Oh, so good. But these, all of them, really. Almost at the top, too. Now, these Jordans, again, you thought they'd have grown on me because they have the straps, kind of like the air rate, but they just really didn't. The soles here just throwing me off too much. These were two, the bottoms just weren't appealing. So that was those. And uh, just a couple more here. So again, the Ferrari joints, you know, again, I don't know, they'd have to grow on me. These were some, like, I think high-end Givenchy shoes. I, I don't know, man. If you didn't say they were from Paris and they were Givenchy's, I would easily see these sitting on the floor at, like, Payless.